Do you want to show everyone what you were doing just now? No. <laughs> Please show everyone what you were doing. I was doing. getting ready to cook. Zoe it's was cooked. hiding from the sun like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, is harsh, right? uh, it's, it's Friday, it's Friday, uh, and we're outside, and I'm loving what we see right now. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of that 1960s song. Um, no? Before my time? Oh, yo, okay. Don't know it. Anyway, anyway, listen, we, are we brining? Uh, what is it? Uh, this is tuna, tuna, but this is a, a, a recipe I wrote for yellowtail, but we couldn't find yellowtail, it happens. You know, yeah. sometimes the fishermen go out and they find certain fish, but mm -hmm. we couldn't find it. So we got um, tuna instead. So you can do this with any sort of robust fish that'll take the heat of the brine. Okay, so, so a yellowtail, hard fish. salmon. Um, you can even do dorado if you want it. Not hake. Not hake. Hake will will just disintegrate. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Let's get so into it. So it's it's shamula rubbed fish. Shemula. And shamula is a spice paste um, popular in Tunisia and Morocco. Okay. And it consists of the following. Lovely. This is some toasted. Uh, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, and chili flakes. So in a dry pan, toast it until the aroma is released. Yes. Okay, that's how you know they're ready. Lovely. So that's going in the blender. And then some garlic, as much or as little as you want. Lots and lots of lots garlic of if you're inviting me over to your house. <laughs> Good. Then. And then some chopped onion, just half a chopped onion. You could use a shallot if you wanted, or if you don't like, what's the word? The if acrid. you don't like the, the acrid flavor. <laughs> the acrid flavor. Yes, of raw onion, you could actually just use um, some spring onion, actually, okay, good, to mild the flavor. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of the li lime juice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I'm lemon going to... Lemon juice substitutable? Lemon juice is substitutable in this case, yeah. Alrighty, there, there we, we go. go. Then just blend it up. To make that, the place, to there make the... I'm going to try and say it now. Uh, sh shula, shula. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Shula. What? I just told you what you it is. You told me it's shula, shula. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I didn't say it. No, it's show. Sh Shamula. Shamula, man. <laughs> Close. Okay, this is a, <laughs> some fresh coriander and fresh parsley also Lovely. going in. Let me see if it'll fit in here. There we go. Okay. So blend it all up. What does the word shamula mean? Do you know? Does it... I, I have no idea what it means. Yeah. I imagine it means something to do with ground spices and, okay. and herbs. All yeah. oh, right. Okay. Cool. And but I don't speak. To, what do they speak in Tunisia? In Tunisia, I think Arabic might be one of the yeah. languages they speak there. Not one of the ones I have in my repertoire. Okay. Okay. No. Well, we'll work on that on our next trip, shall we? Okay. Uh, listen. SMS the keyword fish to three three seven two eight, and we'll send you the ingredients list as well as a link to the recipe so you can make your own shamula. Shamula. Rubbed. Exactly. Okay. So I just Tuna. add a little bit of water just so that it forms an actual paste. Okay. Question. There we go. Yes, please. If you don't have a fancy machine like that at home, could you use a pestle and mortar? Absolutely. It's going to take a lot more elbow grease there. Pestle and mortar and up. elbow grease. And then you could also, if you don't even have a pestle and mortar, yeah. buy ground spices and then chop the herbs really fine. And exactly the same thing. Because the flavor is what we're going after, season. not necessarily the texture. Yeah, and season while season you go at it. Then you absolutely. rub it onto the... Then, like I said, we're using tuna today. So, and the it... tuna, this tuna will, will actually cook in like 10 seconds aside. Wow. So I'm going to pop it straight onto the brine. It looks very dry, Zola. What's dry? As in the, the shamula. No, man, it's a paste, look. Oh, so it's not supposed to be a bit more, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> See, these, these are the things that would worry me no, no, as, no. A, as somebody looking over my dish. Don't so worry. 10 Don't seconds worry. on either side. 10 seconds on either side, let me get some more paste on this side. And when it comes out, does it look like that already? It looks just like this, yeah, so you can see the spices are nice and the herbs are all brown and coloured. Fantastic. And then, yeah, just slice it up. You want to slice it up. And then, voila, how, how do you slice it up? Just slice it very thinly for me. Very thinly, all right, yeah. let's try and do that. I'm going to do this quickly because we don't have much time. Hello. There we go, it should what? be a little pink on the little inside, pink on which the is how inside. we love tuna. Look at that. I don't know if you can get a close-up shot of this, but this should be quite lovely. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, and by SMSing the keyword fish to 33728, you'll get the ingredients list. Let's have a bit of a tongue taste test of this lovely... Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nagtana, Susam. Nami, Nagtana. Cool. Have a good weekend. Enjoy the brine. You win. Over to you.